Hi guys, this is Geekle, and today I'm going to talk about the Bash RC file. So, this is my agenda for today. Let me open that. So today I'll talk about what Bash RC file is. Then I'll go and talk about aliasing. Then I'll talk about sourcing of Bash RC file, and then I'll talk about exporting variables. And then uh, I'll like I'll be posting the link to these two uh, like some interesting stuffs which you can do using bashers. Okay, so let's get started. So, what is bashers? Bashers is a script that runs every time the bash is started. So, whenever you start a new terminal, the bashers is executed. Okay, so let's close this for now. And I'll go to my home folder. So that is where bash rc file is located. When you do ls, of course you won't see it. When you do f ls minus a, you'll see a dot bash rc file. So if you see if you have seen my previous video, I told you about dot dot files, like the files which are starting with dot are hidden files. So bash rc is actually a hidden file. Still, you can open it. So now, when when I'll open the bash rc file, bash rc, and you see a lot of stuff is written already in this file. So this is the default configuration of Ubuntu terminal. Okay. Uh, now, you, if you want to create your own shortcuts, you can just append that at the end of the file. So, okay. So we had a bit of trouble opening bash rc file because we were not able to see it and we did ls and then we had to type bash and then press tab and like lot of typing so that was like too much effort I, for me it's effort so I'll just create a shortcut for that so I'll use alias for it alias alias b is equal to vim the vim okay vim slash dot bash rc right okay, this should be enough now when i try to no be here it's a command not found why exactly is that happening we modified the bash rc it's and when i open the new terminal and when i type b it's opening very perfectly so why exactly is this happening it's happening because this is the old terminal and whenever we start the terminal the bash rc is loaded but not in the middle of the session of the terminal so if you want to source the bash rc you have to write source dot bash rc okay now when you type b it's working okay now sourcing is also too much effort let's just go and create a shortcut for that so i'll write oh, I'll write alias alias sp is equal to source bash rc okay sp again it's expected it won't work you have to source it so I'll just source it I sourced it now when I open the bash rc and do some modification so what I want to do with it okay I want to go to documents directory so you can just edit it go to doc how can we go to document directory just type documents right now when you do when you source it and then you do doc oh sorry doc oh. doc oh let me just change the bash rc what did i write here sorry it's not it's not source it's cd so now it will work Source it again and then you go to doc, you are there in documents directory. Okay. 
what was my agenda so i talked about what bash rs is i talked about creating shortcut i talked about sourcing i didn't talk about exporting let's go and talk about exporting bash rs so and uh, just open bash rs say you want to know who are you okay export export my name is equal to can just write github okay when you source it so if you observe i am not in my home directory now and still i am able to use b and sp and all those shortcuts so that's the benefit right okay now i have sourced it so when i echo dollar my name you see equal okay so if, if you have not e sourced it you would not see geekal instead you'll see an empty string here so yeah so this is my global like exported variable you can use that anywhere so if you say if you are in documents let's create a shortcut now if you are in desktop and uh, let's go to desktop where is this one okay so set again oh uh, again i need to change something here this is not nice i wrote task no so set again task your index stop and now if you want to echo my name it will work here also right so this is like how cool bash rs is you can create many shortcuts like on depending upon your use case you need not write uh, like you need not remember all the commands you need not write so much like long commands and uh, for things which you do again and again so that is the use of bash rc also these bash rc you can do auto complete in these bash rc so i have already sourced it now if i want to go to desk if you just write de it will auto complete it okay desk this is not a good example i'll show you some other example maybe doc see it's like it's showing in auto complete it's showing those uh, those values which you have written in the bash rc okay you can also use this in tilde so if i say say let me edit my bash rc to echo something okay yeah so i have written this this will echo geek girl let me source it and then i'll do gg it's echoing geek girl now let's say you want to use this somewhere let's say we want to echo it again echo and then you try tilde geek gg it will echo if you write if you remove the tilde it will echo gg 